Yo, what's going on y'all? It's your boy Vel and we're back with another video. In this one, we are going to be going over something interesting. So if you've been watching my videos, you're going to be surprised. You're going to be very, very surprised by what you're hearing throughout this, this um, video that we're going to be checking out. Because what's actually happened is I told you all that not many YouTubers on a platform understand how to grow on a platform the same way that I do. But what they have done is taken the most analytical minds who actually have grown in similar ways and done similar things that I did and they asked them how to grow. So they didn't ask YouTubers like Kai Sinat or I Show Speed or YouTubers who couldn't really tell you anything that's going to help you grow. They went and asked people with the same similar backstory to me who's much more successful at YouTube than, than I am. And what's going to shock you is how how very closely tied to my, and by the way, this video is brand new, just came out, just came out today, I believe. So do you know I'm not taking stuff from anywhere, but they're breaking down things that people don't know and, and it's it literally sounds like one of my videos so that's what we're going to be checking out just so y'all can see it's very clear when somebody knows what they're talking about because everybody's impressed with a content creator who just came up and got her first three million views and it's like bro like we out here with a billion views and you you trying to compare it like oh she's lit right now she's growing it's like well, when i tell you bro she she's not gonna get too far past three million views if she keep doing what she's doing but Yo, I digress. Anyway, we're going to jump into this. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And yo, check out the course if you want. Like, listen, it's up to you. Check out the course. I'm not going to beg nobody to check out the course or the coaching. It's up to you. You either want success or you don't. Like, it is what it is. Like, I'm I'm doing me. So when, I, when I'm warning y'all that things are going to change and you're probably not going to have time to make it where you want to make it, that's just me giving you a fair warning. Like, I'm, and I'm showing you the software and everything that you're competing against as well. Like, I just show you everything. Like, fully transparent. There's no need for me to hide anything because, you know, you can see it. So, anyway, that being said, let's get it. I recently went to the biggest YouTuber event in the world, attended by people like Matt Pat, Jenny Hoyos, Tom Bilyeu, and Jordan Matter. And I decided to use that opportunity to ask some of the smartest YouTubers I could find. What would be your advice for someone who's just starting from scratch, trying to reach their first thousand subscribers? Starting with Noel Island, a genius YouTube strategist who's generated over 18 billion views and grown channels like Mini Katana from 1,000 to 14 million subscribers and Sticky Rolls from zero to 200,000 subs in just 90 days. If you were back at right, zero, we're at no zero. experience. We're starting at zero tomorrow. Yeah, yep. no experience, no budget, no nothing, just your knowledge that you have right now. How are you growing? Value. I don't care about the hat that you're wearing. Wait, That's rude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're right. But this interview is over. <laughs> I don't care about the hat that you're wearing. Yeah. You don't care about the drink that I just had. Those individual concepts don't provide value to anyone. Versus if I tell you that I can teach you how to do something, I can teach you how to knit, I can teach you how to sew, I can teach you how to reach a million views in 30 days. What are you providing to your community? And so what I would say to somebody starting a channel tomorrow is sit down with yourself and go, what do I have to offer to others? What advice, what education, what entertainment, what space can I go that I can give value back to? Okay, so she's obviously said it a lot more professional. She's media trained and things like that. But if you've been watching my videos, all the content, go back and look at the content that I've made about all the DoDash subscribers who've come to me for help. And listen to what I have said throughout those videos. Like, it's really just been finding yourself, finding your lane, finding your niche. I've told people straight up, you're jumping on YouTube, trying to make YouTube tutorials about, oh, this is how you do YouTube. Nobody cares to hear that from you. I And, and that's the thing. She's she probably not saying it like that, but it's like, you have so much you bring to the platform. What do you do? And, and people ain't taking the time to understand that. They're just trying to post and spam videos, thinking that they're going to get rich and make a lot of money on YouTube. And that's just not how the game goes. But as you can see, like, I'll be telling y'all, I, I, I tell y'all, real shit like i and this is this is a content creator who's literally on the um platform who's grew the same ways that i have literally by the analytical way it's, it's different ways to grow on youtube and, and you, if you don't understand the differences between that because kais and that i show speed the most famous people in the world those people usually don't know how to grow to the same extent that people who are not as famous as them or as popular as them or widely known as them they don't know youtube to the same extent and that that's because they grew up they blew up mainly off of their personality and, and it is a difference it is a key difference because them once people got eyes on them no matter what they were always going to blow up because they were destined to be a certain type of content creator that's what you got to understand about some people like they have this, this magnetic personality 99 percent of us don't got that we don't so yeah like anyway 
to a community, things that other people would find valuable. Ultimately, that's what's gonna cause people to wanna subscribe, wanna watch all of your content, not just a single piece of content. So the way that you do that is one, post consistently, right? My rule of thumb is, can you put out one good short a day on YouTube? Yeah. Two, don't be insane. Make sure you're iterating on different formats. Make sure you're trying different concepts. If something isn't working, you should be trying within your first 30 days to do 30 different concepts. Yeah. You don't know what your audience likes. You don't even know what you like. And once you see something that works, double down on that and continue to remake that type of media until that's what I that's that's exactly what I told Dodash by the way. This is the same advice I, I gave Dodash, but then she started overdoing it and she started um she started ruining the content that she was doing by oversaturating it and making the content less valuable, watering it down. Um instead of literally I, I broadened up the niche for her. She thought she could only do certain types of types of content. Then I broadened up the niche and let her know the type of content she was capable of doing, and then she still didn't even want to put in the work. That like listen. Like they YouTubers, like YouTube, these, some of these people who know what they're talking about, they give you, they give you a lot of the information that you need. Like they give you a lot of the information, and and we all are going to say the same things. This is what you have to understand. It's like it's so easy once you understand what you're doing, and it's not that hard to understand. You just have to be willing to listen and do it. It's that simple. And you can tell the ones who don't, but she's saying the exact same stuff. Like you can go back, if I'm lying, you go back throughout my videos that I've been making on, on Dodash. It's not on this channel, it's on my other channel, by the way, but those are kind of buried. I've been, I've been on my finance grind on that channel. That's why we switched channels, but yeah, like, Check it out. Till that format doesn't work for you anymore. While constantly experimenting so you can find a new format that absolutely crushes. And so play around with those different things. Find a niche, find a value, and double down on that. After lunch with Noel, I bumped into Noah Morris, the YouTube genius famous for generating up to 50 million views a month, earning him up to $380,000. And so I asked him. Yeah. If you lost everything, reputation, brand, money, team, yeah. you're back at zero. How are you getting your first thousand subscribers and beyond? If you just start out, especially as a beginner, what I would really do is try to focus on smaller niches that could make you two to 10k a month. So think about like sub niches in anime where you, for example, just break. Come on, bro. Like, what, what's my biggest topic? What are my biggest topic? Niche down. <laughs> Niche down. I told you how to grow. I, I always use the NBA as an example and I always break it down, right? You're, you're hearing from the most successful people on the platform who's grown the same way as me, all the same concepts. <laughs> it's like, down characters from one and when have, when have you heard other youtubers talk about this what what other big youtubers say be consistent just upload daily just keep going all that advice that's just useless like when we tell you exactly how and and some of this this type of advice might go over your head that's the thing some of this advice might go over your head because you don't actually understand what you're doing but then again that's why i've actually made my coaching that's why i've made my my, my course so people can actually see it because I'm not giving nothing away. I'm not, well, I, I give away some value for free, but I'm not giving away the value for free because it's gonna change people's life. If you know what you're worth, you're not accepting less than that. So at the end of the day, people don't have to buy it, even though it, it actually is selling quite well right now, but some people just don't wanna buy it and they're not gonna invest in themselves and stuff like that, and you don't have to. But just know that I'm not, I'm not gonna change your life for free. Like this, what I know and what I tell you is going to change your life to the extent where you could probably quit your job. Why would I give that away for free? Like, come on now, I, I can only give you that one time. So yeah, it's not gonna be for free in the video. I'm, I'm telling you that, that like, that's what it is. Like I can tell you, I can I can push you in the right direction in the video, but my courses and stuff, it's gonna, here, come, come this way, do exactly this. And yeah, it's like, it's different when I tell you this is exactly what's gonna make you successful. That's it, there's value in that for me personally. But these nuggets and stuff people give away, most people ain't gonna even know what to do with these nuggets specific anime the market cap might not be very big but maybe you can make one or two k a month of that yeah. and that's a really good starting fund to then start scaling into bigger niches obviously you have niches where you can do like fifty thousand a hundred thousand dollars examples of that would be u.s politics there's a lot of views in that but it's also more competitive once people discover it's possible basically what we look for is areas of interest where there's a, a lot of demand but not so much supply so what i mean by that is very small channels very recent channels somewhere from three to six months yeah. that on their first third fourth video immediately got like a hundred 200 maybe a million views and that usually indicates especially if the videos are low quality that there's just a lot of viewers looking for that type of similar video and as soon as you then make a similar video the youtube algorithm goes hey finally there's a similar video let us push this video to this audience that's been craving this type of video right not long after my chat with noah i met another super 
All right, y'all. So there we have it. There we, we, we're gonna end this video here. Like we'll we'll continue going into more, but listen, bro. I just wanted to prove the point that literally the video just started. We come across two YouTubers with extreme success, and they've re literally just regurgitated what I've been talking about for the last week on my on my other channel. This game is not hard, and these are the people you should be listening to. Like I like. The value that I give is going to speak for itself. It's going to continue to speak for itself because I know what I'm talking about. It's a reason that I've been able to accomplish the things that I have. But listen, you have to understand the difference between being motivated and being pumped up by somebody saying the right thing and then actually understanding the things you need to understand so you can actually be successful. You can praise content creators all day long, but at the end of the day, their bank account is not yours. So pocket watch and do all this. I don't care about none of that. Me personally, I do things where it's like, what's going to increase my bank account? And people ask, oh, then why aren't you super, super, super massive? You only got a billion views. That person got 18 billion views. Like the, people will try to sit here and compare and things like that. At the end of the day, I'm an investor. I, I've gone years in between this, 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 what, 10 plus year span I've had on YouTube. I've gone many years without posting on any of these channels. If you go and look at my analytics, go to go to my social blades, you'll realize that I barely, I barely post. Like I, I've went years without posting. And then I come back and then I start it back up. You know how many channels die any amount of time? How many times I've left? Uh, the, the channels just die time and time again. Mine never do. I think it's, it's like, why? But anyway, it is what it is, man. Let me know what you all think. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn notifications, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, fam.